Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe. So, of Valiant Comics. I don't really know anything about Valiant Comics. This thing looked pretty cool. It was kind of cheap. I like deck builders. It says a Valiant card game. I do like card games. I think it's a deck builder. I'm not sure. I haven't played it. We're just going to unbox it. See how it looks. All right, here's the Valiant card game, Ninjak. Pretty cool art on the cover. So it looks like it's a uh, future ninja stuff. One to six players, 25 to 50 minutes, 16 and up. All right, let's open it up. So I actually got this at the beginning 2020. Uh, I never got to <clears throat> play it from the board game group that I used to go to because of, uh, well, 2020. So I've been sitting in the closet for about a year. I figured I should at least open it up, check it out. I we get at least do an unboxing. And then hopefully, sooner than later, I'll be able to play it. In these boxes, a shiny instruction booklet, components, ninja mat setup. Build the villain's deck. All right. <clears throat> I believe it is a deck builder. Maybe a little more going on. The reviews weren't super um, positive. They're kind of mediocre. I think he said the game was trying to do a little too much. Some cool art and pop-ups, pop-outs. Some stats looks like on the back. I do like this art so far. It's pretty cool. So I've never read Ninjak or really even seen the comic. So if you have, I know if it's good or good or bad, well, let me know. Okay, active threats. Active threats. Okay, discards here are the same, looks like. Yeah. Not sure why it's two sided, it's probably a reason. Now, I have heard of XO Man of War from the terrible acclaimed PS1 game. Iron Man and XO Man of War, very bad. I think that's the same guy. Didn't look like this though. I mean, art's good technically, I just don't really like the way the guy looks. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this either. These are nice big cards though, it's pretty cool. Him, we have Shadow Man, okay, so here's your turn phase, draw a villain card, hero action, active threats, tree power token, same thing, I'm trying to see if there's anything different, 
agenda. I don't see. Let's see if the power changes, maybe. Hmm. Anyways. Live wire. I do like this guy better than Man of War. Uh, she looks pretty cool. Very standard comic book hero looking. Eternal Warrior. Again, pretty cool art. Bloodshot. So I'm sure if you're a fan of Valiant in this universe, this is probably really cool to them. It seems pretty cool. Anyway. What is your character cards, I'm guessing? We have a villain deck. And artifacts. And it's probably another maybe hero type here. Health. So I don't know if this is cooperative. Yeah. Give you something better to look at while I look through these instructions really quick. Comes out to the art side. I think the art side is better. Except for maybe, except for maybe live wire and looks like this is better. I'll Man of War, not a fan of. Yeah, the tokens to match each character. Let's see. The objective for this game, defeat all of Ninjak's threats by keeping everyone on your team alive. To win, you must score more points than your fellow heroes by defeating threats and collecting the symbols on your own hidden agenda. Okay, so you have a hidden agenda down here. So it looks like it's point-based. Choose your heroes. And you randomly get your hidden agenda card. So these are the hero mats. Uh, your starting health is over here. And there's a little um, kind of like uh, Britain Island, but these are for your health. You have that. And the power tokens. So this it was in the center of the game board. So this is not a playthrough. This is just a uh, opening unboxing. I figure I go through a little bit of an overview since I've never seen this game before. Yeah, yeah I can read how to play really quick. Uh, show you the setup, which we saw earlier. How to play, the heroes take turns, beginning with the starting hero, determined during the setup, and proceeding clockwise order from there until either all the threats have been defeated or a hero dies. Okay. So if a hero dies, I guess the game is over. Taking your turn. On your turn, there are four individual steps that occur in order. Draw a villain card, hero action, activate threats, and retrieve power token. So it sounds like you probably draw a villain card, resolve it, go through your steps. If you can defeat them, so on and so on. 
without undoing the pack. Here's an example of a villain card. Pierce with some stats, damage, threat. A recharge card and defense. And it's going to go to your hero actions, so on and so on. But to be honest, looks that better. Sorry about that. The instructions are really well laid out to read. It's really very easy to read this, this book. Doesn't mean this game is not convoluted, but, <laughs> but as far as uh, the layout of this book, it's very nice. I like that. It's easy to read. It's broken to each thing, what it does. So this the requirements to defeat the threat deals two damage during the active phase. So you have to defend against so on and so on. Modify attributes. And then again, the game end. You get one point for every threat you defeated. You get three points. For each complete set of defeated threats of the types indicated on your hidden agenda, okay. So if you have like say red type and you get three reds, you get a, you get a bonus two points. Solo play, that's nice. So there's solo play, I guess. Plays two heroes or only one hero, so on and so on. So maybe I can actually do a playthrough. Some nice art. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but knowing me, probably under ten dollars, <laughs> or at least under fifteen. Components are really nice, so hopefully I'll get to play it sooner than later. I'll move back here. be worth checking out if you're a fan of the Valiant universe and Ninjak. Looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.